We're in the Lake Bell area. It's about 71 square miles of Everglades wetlands that have been proposed to be dug 80 feet deep for concrete and rock. Just this past week, a judge ruled that the permits that were given for these rock mines were illegal. It's a significant threat to the water supply that's necessary for the wildlife and the ridge and slough topography that is so characteristic of the Everglades. With this road right here, Tamiami Trail, acts as a dam to water flow from the north to the south. The historic water flow went exactly perpendicular to this road. One of the restoration projects that Congress authorized over 15 years ago and still is not complete would reestablish the water flow from the north to the south, reestablish this historic connection, the Tamiami Trail Skyway, the Everglades Skyway, which would elevate this whole roadway and allow water to flow as it did historically. What we want to see is a more natural flow pattern, a more natural pattern of water going across the marsh instead of coming through the canals. That will allow more water to be held in the dry season and end up into Everglades National Park, eventually making its way down into Florida Bay, restoring the salinity, the health of the bay, the health of the fisheries, and the fishery habitat down there. This looks like an area that they are trying to clear of Melaleuca. They were brought here from Australia, which, by the way, Australian pine and Melaleuca in Australia do, are not invasive. It's a very important story to tell that just because it's invasive here doesn't mean in its native habitat it's invasive. years to destroy the Everglades and it might take as long to restore them. We hope that as many people come down here as possible to see the beauty of the Everglades, to experience it and to understand more about this unique ecosystem. 